Yes, I am out here again hunting humans and I'm glad you guys can join me on this beautiful day. It's a great day to catch a human. Um, just jump right into it. Today I am going after Malik Lewis. This is a tall dude. He's 6'4", 185 pounds. Um, I don't know what he's wearing yet. I'm working with the confidential informant on this. This case right here, a uh, guy uh, who's been scouting out for me. Uh, I'm gonna keep him very confidential because I use him on a lot of my cases. Uh, but this guy, um, not, not such a bad thing. He's trespassing and uh, vandalism. So he likes to go places where he's not supposed to go and throw some crap, paper, or whatever it might be on people's lawns. So uh, when I talk to this guy, hopefully I can apprehend him. When I talk to him, we'll get into that and see what's going on with this knucklehead. But I just thought I'd turn the camera on and let you guys know that's what I do, right? Another hunt. Alright? So stay tuned for the hunt. The hunt, the hunt. Dolly. Alright guys, so I'm a little bit closer to where this guy's location is. Mr. Lewis, uh, the informant told me that the guy has on a black shirt. I can't really, it's dark in the cars, but you know, I know he's got on a black shirt and some green cargo pants. And I can't read the rest right now because I'm driving, but I have a little bit more intel on the guy. So what we're going to do is just kind of do some cold five and see if he's over there. The thing about this place, guys, you know how I feel about crowded areas. I really don't like to apprehend uh, defendants in crowded areas, so I'm not really sure if he's with a friend, if he, um, you know, if he's on a date or anything like that. I just know that the guy is in this area doing some shopping or something and hanging out. So usually when, when guys do that, they with their boys. So I'm hoping that he will go peacefully and we don't get like a little riot on our hands, right? We don't want that, right? We want to keep everybody safe. So again, it's, it's, it's like a, what that dude say? It's like a box of chocolate, right? You never know what you're going to get. That's just like bounty hunting. It's like a box of chocolate. Until you get on the scene and start patting people down, you don't know what you're going to find or what you're going to see. So that's like... That's the way it is, you guys. So I'm going to turn the camera on uh, when I get a little bit closer. And then we can do some cold five together, okay? We're going to look for this guy together. All right? Stay tuned for the hunt. How many of you guys are struggling with crazy, never-ending deadlines at school and feeling that constant stress to keep your grades up? Well, I have a solution for you. Check out our sponsor and good friends at nerdprowriting.com. Let their graduate level writers take care of your paper or assignment for you with this super easy ordering process. They can handle almost any deadline, and my favorite part is they treat everybody like a rock star VIP. NerdProWriting.com, they'll help you reach your academic potential. Come along with me, Bonnie Hunter B, and NerdProWriting.com. Oh, yeah, and by the way, at the checkout, make sure you put in Bonnie Hunter D20 and get that extra discount that everybody loves. NerdProWriting.com today. Tell them Bonnie how decent. Okay, so you guys, I just pulled up to um, the suspected... Let me turn this light out real quick. Nobody to see me in here. Okay, the camera's gonna be a little dark right now, okay, guys? Because even though I have that little light... It still can blow my cover. All right, I see a guy on the cell phone right there, but I'm not sure that's him because the description that I was given, it's not really matching him, but it kind of is. But I know if I roll my unit over there, if I roll my unit over there, I'm gonna blow my cover. Here, let me turn the light back on. So I don't think you can see this far. I'm looking for an African-American male. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm going to go into this uh, place a little bit, park my unit where I can't really be seen in the darkness. Because right now, guys, I don't see my defendant so I'm gonna go ahead and pull up in there and if I blow my damn cover I blow my cover but 
as of right now, the guy's not in there. And the good thing about it too, guys, is that he doesn't know I'm coming to get him. He doesn't know, it's that element of surprise. Oh shit, wait a minute. I thought that was a white dude, that's a black dude. Really? Yeah, wait, 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 right here, right here, right here, wait. Keep the camera rolling, keep the camera rolling. I think that's him right there. Yeah, black shirt, cargo pants. But I thought he was a white dude in the light. Here, wait. Okay. No, you should put the, the car somewhere in here. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Because if he runs, I'm yeah. just going to pull up on him. Um, but in... I don't know. See, the thing about it is if is if I pull up on this dude and it's not him, I'm going to scare the, the sh out of a civilian. So I might have to do it a little bit different here. I'm going to get out and act like I'm not looking. Here, let me turn my lights on so just in case the guy here, show him right here. I'm gonna run, if I, here, I'm gonna park up in front right here, and I'd rather him run toward, if he's gonna run, if that's him, I'm not sure. Here, I'm just gonna act like I'm not even looking for the dude. Oh yeah, that is our perp right there. But he doesn't know I'm looking, here, no, no, put it on him. Put it on him. Well, I don't want him to see me. I don't know, he can't see anything. Come on, we gonna jump out kinda cool though, here. Okay. Cause I don't want this to run. Oh shit, he's going to the store. Trespassing. What are you doing over here? 
visiting friends. Getting visiting money. friends? Yeah. Where your friends at? I don't see nobody here but you. I was on the phone with them. You were on the phone with them. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to my unit over here, okay? You're going to behave yourself when I pick you up? I'm only leaving you down there because I'm letting you just think about what you did. And you can end up like this, you heard me? I heard you. Okay. On the T-side, your feet. Here. There you go. And I'm see Daisy. Just be cool. Ha 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 ha. Are you around? I'm good. Uh, do I have to take the taser out again? I'm good. You sure? I promise. I'm good. Okay, because you're fidgety on me. Here, lady, this car. Anything in your shoes? No. Bag here. I was in a hurry to get you home here today. Come have a seat. Head first. I mean, ass first, head in first. Head in last. I'm out of breath. I can't even talk. Okay, so I told you I'm here. I'm not going to zap you. I need this for life. Yeah, I told you where I was here, right? Yes. Okay, so why did you make your court date? I was out of town. I had somewhere That's else not an excuse not to go to court. Would you go? If I had a court date? It's not about what I would do, young man. It's about what you're supposed to do. Here, sit right here. Sit right here. Alright, so the vehicle is not on the bell, uh, bond application. So I'm not going to search it. Uh, but what I am going to do is I'm going to interview this young man and find out what's going on. He might even give me permission to search it. Who knows? But Let's go from there. Come on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and interview uh, Malik Lewis. Malik, you don't have to answer any of my questions if you don't want to, okay? Mr. Lewis? Yes. Okay, so uh, first of all, why didn't you make your court date? I, I don't feel like going. These bunch of bullshit charges. Okay, so it was for trespass and vandal, uh, vandal, vandalism. Um, it looks like you are a first-time offender. This is a petty charge, but still, nonetheless, you were arrested for it. Is there is there a reason why you were over that place where you were trespassing? Over after they told you not to go? Mr. Lewis? No. Okay, I'm asking you, the reason I'm asking you because you're a first time offender and usually if somebody is in trespassing, they'll tell somebody not to show up. They come back again, they might give them another warning, right, if you're on private property. The next time a sheriff will come out and he'll give you a CT. That's a criminal trespass, he'll give you that, right? Yeah. And then if you show up again, if you show up again, then you get arrested, okay? So what I'd like to do is offer you an opportunity to help you so you don't have to stay in jail 60 to 90 more days. How's that? Okay, sure. Let's do that. Even though you did run from me. Don't rush me, homie. Even though you did run from me, okay? I understand I scared you. So I will talk to my bail bondsman, my guy, to go ahead and re redo your bail, okay? He's going to do that for you, all right? I understand I scared you. You fought me a little bit, but you're a young, young man, and you shouldn't be caught up in the judicial system like I tell all my young brothers and sisters. You hear me? Okay. All right, so we're going to get it done. We're going to end it here, and that's it.